five of the FIM Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Trentino, was an epic one. MX2 race one, it was Paul Jonas who grabbed the first Fox hole shot. His young teammate, Jorge Prado, though, tried to work his way around the outside as Lieber got there in third, ahead of Ben Watson and Thomas Kier Olsen. Jeremy C, with a championship leader, fell on the opening lap after getting tagged by another rider. After a poor start, he picked himself up and remounted the race. Meanwhile, Lieber went down. He was in third, and as he got himself up, Thomas Kier Olsen just ran into the back, and he fell from fourth down to eighth. He would eventually come back into fifth place by the time the chequered flag fell, but he lost some places in that little exchange. Carved his way back through the field, though, with that pass on Chervlin. That was the one that got him up to fifth as Lieber went off track, just trying too hard to get himself back past Jorge Prado. A couple of laps to go, and Siwa fell again. This time he lost a position or two, but in the end, it was Jonas who came home with a win. Prado, Lieber, your top three. MXGP race one, and it was Tony Cairoli with a Fox hole shot. Behind him, Arnold Tonus, as three or four riders, including David Philippots, went down at turn one. Geiser quickly found his way into the lead with a pass over on the far side of the circuit, but Cairoli was able to find his way back past into the lead after a mistake from Geiser on the next uphill allowed the KTM rider through. All the while, the number four of Tonus was keeping a watching brief, but then, on lap 11 of 19, Tonus got close enough to make a pass over on the far side of the circuit. He got his Yamaha into second, put the Honda of Geiser into third. Gautier Paulin came home in fourth for Rockstar Energy Husqvarna with Clement de Salle coming home in fifth on the number 25 machine. Tony Cairoli, though, still had his hands full as a hard-charging Tonus tried until the chequered flag, but in the end it was Cairoli, Tonus, Geiser, Paul and Sal in race one. The next two, race two, this time it was Jorge Prado who just grabbed the Fox hole shot ahead of his teammate, Paul Jonas. Lieber was well-placed in third with Covington in fourth. Jeremy Seawert put himself up into fourth though by the end of the first lap on his Suzuki. Covington was fifth, but then he found his way past Seawert to get himself into fourth on lap five. Seawert then tried to respond, just couldn't find a way past the young American who charged forward and found his way into third with an aggressive move on Lieber. His teammate also followed him through, nudging the Belgian off the side of the track, costing him a couple of places, dropping him down to sixth. Then, Thomas Kier Olsen hit the ground, he fell down to sixth, that's where he would finish. On the final lap, Jonas tried to make a pass on his teammate to go second, but it wasn't enough, and in the end, Prado came home to win the race, and with it, take his first ever Grand Prix victory in MX2. Jonas was second, Covington was third, C were fourth, Lieber fifth. The overall Grand Prix, though, belonged to Prado, with Jonas sharing the points, Lieber third overall. The championship looks like this then. We have a new leader going to round six in Valkenswad. Paul Jonas now edging ahead of Jeremy Siwa. Lieber is still third. Pacharel on the Yamaha had a disastrous weekend, just scoring points in race two with 13. But it was all about Jorge Prado today, winning in MX2 for the first time in his career on his Red Bull KTM. Jonas Oak will take the red plate back to the Netherlands, round six. Second model, I knew the start was very really important and got a whole shot and then uh, make a big gap. Then with some lappers, uh, the pack uh, catch me. So, you know, it was an interesting model, uh, emotional at the end. So, uh, you know, really happy to have my first win over here. Yeah. GP race two was an absolute epic. Tim Geiser charged his way down the inside of Cairoli, pushing the Italian wide to grab the Fox hole shot. Then Cairoli spun up in turn two, and that cost him. He crossed the line 22nd, and he had a fight on his hands to not disappoint the Italian fans. Geiser led from his teammate, Bob Rochef, at the head of the field, with Hurlings getting a good start in third. But Cairoli then hit four. He found his way past Tonus, then Paul Ann, and then Clement de Sal to get himself up into fourth, and by then, the Italian realised he still had an opportunity to win the Grand Prix. He passed his teammate, 
Jeffrey Hurlings, that tied the Grand Prix overall with Geiser, but this pass on Bobashev secured Kai Rowley the overall Grand Prix victory. Geiser couldn't do any more than he'd already done. He came home to win the moto, but it wasn't enough. Kai Rowley, with that second place finish, took his 79th Grand Prix victory. It's his third win here at Trentino, and it was an absolute classic performance from Kai Rowley. He also gains two points in the championship chase to Geiser, which means he is now just 18 points behind the HRC rider. Tonus on the podium for the first time on the Volvo Yamaha in 2017. He was second here in MX2 in 2014. But all the adulation and all the noise was for Antonio Cairoli and Red Bull KTM standing proudly on the top step of the podium at his home race here, Trentino in Italy. But it's Geiser who continues to lead the championship after five rounds. I work very hard, you know, because I was very angry about that, you know, because I know my home GP, I want to I wanna be on the top, on the podium at least. So I keep going and then, uh, you know, I see that it was possible to win uh, because uh, Pabrishev was there and uh, team even was not so far. So I did my best to, to pass and I made some special pass on a track like this. It is very difficult, but, you know, I'm really happy and thanks to all, uh, all the fans here to support me and all my sponsors.